Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dylan and in today's video we are going to be trying out some makeup tips, tricks, hacks that I saw on TikTok. Well, I actually tried them out, but from which I think you should try them out because they are so good. You know, to be honest, some of the hacks we uh, see on TikTok are a little... They're not for me. But the ones I tried, which I included in this video, you won't regret. So let's start. So I actually filmed this video yesterday and I forgot to put the audio on and I was frustrated for a second because I can't use, like I was filming for maybe one and a half, two hours and I can't use it, which sucks. But then I thought, you know what? I was not super prepared yesterday. So this video is going to be way much better than yesterday's video. So the makeup hacks that I will be doing, it's not my first time, obviously, as I said, I filmed it yesterday, but there were some things that I absolutely was so impressed by. So I'm going to do that today. First things first, I am going to start with the trend I think that Chloe Morello started is the one layer of makeup. And I personally thought, I filmed a clean aesthetic girl video. I thought I could already achieve that very skin-like flawless makeup look by doing my own thing. I thought it wasn't really necessary to do that one layer thing. Oh my God, I changed my mind. And this whole, like, let, let's just start because I'm not going to talk for too much and don't mind this hair as well because we're going to fix that later on. First things first, I am going to apply primer. This is the Plum and Prime um, Too Faced Primer. It's actually a really nice one. It's super hydrating. And I also feel like it looks like my skin looks really plum. And I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and Serum for a while now. And I'm really, really impressed with how hydrated my skin feels. Sometimes like at the end of the day, my skin can feel a little dry, but my, like it stays moist the whole time. So that's a primer. Um, one thing I did differently yesterday, and this is just, my personal thing. I like to correct first. So she starts using concealer directly on her under eye area, but I need a little bit of corrector. So it's going to be two layers for me. So I'm going to be using this corrector. It's not a corrector actually. It's a, uh, it's a multi-use sculpting concealer from Too Faced in shade Honey. It's a pretty dark shade. And when I was pregnant, this, I was so pale. This used to be my contour shade. Like, can you imagine? So I'm just going to, you know, correct first because we need a little bit more coverage. I don't get much sleep, you know? Um, so this is the concealer buffer brush. I am going to buff this into the skin immediately. Like that, just apply a little bit around my veins to get rid of the bluish purple shadow that we don't want. And if you don't have a corrector at home, you can just use a darker concealer. It's going to change so much. You know, the dark circle coming through, the purpleness. Okay, I'm going to use the Overachiever Concealer from Huda Beauty. And this is in shade Cookie Dough. And she was actually, like, she did all these dots. Should I do that? Or is it not? I don't think it's really necessary to do that. But we can do that. Okay, like, no, I'm not going to do any dots. Okay, same brush. I'm just going to apply the concealer here. And this is really, like, this is actually kind of my thing because I don't like to apply a lot of products on my forehead and on my nose. Like, it can get a little dry when I do that. So you just place concealer where you would normally place your concealer. Okay, that's it for the concealer. For contour, I actually bought these from e.l.f. Cosmetics. TikTok made me do it. Um, these are the putty bronzers in the shade Bronzed Bell and Honey Drip. Honey Drip seems like a good color. Bronze Bell is super dark. I love the blushes, so I have high hopes for the bronzers. So this is a Precision Round Brush from Sigma. I'm just going... Oh, it's a little lighter than I thought. Okay, I think I want to go for a sculpted look today instead of a... So I'm going to place it a little lower. This is a little lighter than I thought, but I think it's going to be a good color to add warmth to the face. And it's a good thing that I bought a darker color as well. Okay, I think this can function more like a bronzer. I am going to open up the bronzed bell. Let's see if this color... I think that looks better. Still a little warm though for contour, but let's just bronze up the whole face and see what happens. Bronzer right here. I like to I like to have a very bronzy 
forehead for some reason. I think that's it for the contour slash bronzer. Today I just went a little lower than normal because I, I don't know, for some reason I feel like I need to do a very sculpted look. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but you need to trust the process. I also bought the blushes and I think I'm gonna go in with this shade today, which is called Tahiti. This is the concealer blender brush from Zoeva. Just gonna put that on my cheeks, like right here. That's a really nice color. If you're on TikTok, you know that you need to apply blush on your forehead. <laughs> It looks really good if you do that. So I'm not applying anything on the apples of my cheek. Okay. That's also like less pigmented than I thought. Or maybe I'm just a little bit more tanned than I think I am. I'm going to add a tiny bit more blush. Yeah, this is the NARS blush in Rush. Yeah, just a little bit more. Also taking a tiny bit of concealer and correct. For foundation, I'm going to use the very underrated um, eye conceal foundation from Image Skincare. And this is in the shade Toffee Caramel. And I'm just going to place dots wherever we like there. Mm, 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 mm. I think I'm going in with a slightly lighter concealer or else I don't think you can really see the contrast between you know the contour and the concealer. So I'm adding, uh, this is actually a pretty light one. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye uh, Concealer from It's Cosmetics. So it's actually going to be two layers, but I'll just go with the flow just a tiny bit. Like right there. And last but not least, we are going to add a glossy highlighter. This is from Fief and this is the Skin Dew. And I'm going to add this as my highlighter. I can't even remember the last time I've used a powder highlighter. Like it's it's been a it's been a while. So right there, there, mm, maybe a little bit here. And I also like to add highlighter on my forehead. It also didn't make sense how many people on the app, like on TikTok, use so much setting spray. And I thought, why not use fixing spray instead of setting spray if you want to go for a dewy look and if, you're, if you want your makeup to melt with your own skin. I thought it would be, it, it would make more sense to use a fixing uh, fixing spray instead of a setting spray, but maybe, I don't know, maybe there's not much of a difference or anything like that, I don't know. But I tried it yesterday and I loved it, so we're going to use it. Um, this is the Dior Forever Perfect Fix Set Refresh and Hydrate, so you can easily blend everything that you just did. This is also the reason why I haven't done my brows yet. Wait for this to dry a little. I actually want the concealer to marinate a little bit, so I'm going to start off with everything else except for my under eye area. So this means concealer right here and then foundation. I think I'm going to use another brush for the contour. Like why use one brush? Now I'm going to blend the contour and the blush. The, wow, that blends in really nice, wow. As the name says, I thought the putty bronzer from e.l.f. was going to look like a bronzer, but I think it has a really nice shadow to it, so I think it can function as a contour as well. So make sure to really get into the hairline so it won't look like a mask. Wow, that looks like a very sun-kissed look, I love it. Let's just do the liquid glow as well. This is such a beautiful liquid highlighter. Look at that. Mm. Okay, still not blending my under eye area. I think we can use a tiny bit more of the putty bronzer in Bronzed Bell. Just to have, you know, just to add a bit more definition. First impression, it feels and it blends so nicely into the skin. It's like, it's very buttery. It actually reminds me a lot of the Fenty Beauty um, cream bronzers. Okay, and then you just go in with setting spray again. I'm going to use the Luminous Setting Spray from Morphe. I don't know why I'm using two different setting sprays, but I feel like I have to. So, and Morphe has the best mist, I think, when it comes to sprays. Okay, now let's blend the under eye area. Honestly, my skin looks so amazing. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but this looks 
so beautiful so buttery and skin like i love it this is not a bs hack or technique it's beautiful like you should give it a try also saves a lot of time when you're in a rush just apply everything at once and then blend everything at once i do suggest blending uh blending it with multiple brushes like maybe two brushes instead of one just so like i i get the idea of melting everything to each other and that everything looks super blended but if you use two brushes i do think the contour is still going to be a contour and a blush the placements are going to be more visible i am going to use a new powder this is the sigma powder that i recently received and it's a soft folking setting powder in vanilla bean so let's give that a try usually i don't like to switch up loose powders that especially not to set my under eye area but we are going to give it a try so let's make sure this is really blended once and for all the key to super soft smooth under eye area is to blend your concealer like blend 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 blend, blend. like to, until the last moment you're going to apply your powder use a puff if you're still using a beauty blender or a brush girl you're missing out use a puff using this powder from sigma you see this we're not going to use that it's too much the thinnest layer is all we need and then you take your puff check again to see if there are any lines and then you just press it into the skin like really press it And there you go, there you have a super smooth under eye area. For me, this is honestly the only thing that really helps to smooth out my under eye area. I've tried different things, beauty blenders, but a cloth or a puff is just works really, really well. So whatever is left on the back of my hand, I'm just going to use that to set my forehead, chin, and also my smile lines. I can get a little oily over there. I'm going to apply a tiny bit here. I'm going to use a good old Hoola bronzer, which has slightly more of a ashy tone to contour my face a little. I know this is not one layer anymore, but it's still two layers, you know, instead of three or four or five. And then to melt, to really melt everything to each other, I also bought this because of TikTok. This is the one size, turn up the base, versatile foundation powder in medium five um, someone actually mentioned that mario used this on kim k and i thought i need to have it like whatever you think of the kardashians their makeup looks amazing so i'm just going to apply a tiny bit to kind of like blend everything with each other you see that that looks more blended than this side it also gives a tiny bit more coverage and you can still see that i don't wear like high coverage products because of my beauty market. Like it's kind of like my guideline to see how much product I have. And if this is fully covered up, then you know I'm going for a full, full, full glam. But if it's not, it's going to look really clean and soft. I'm going to do my brows off camera like I normally do them. And then I'll show you another hack that is absolutely ridiculously amazing. That is a transformation. I did my brows and I also did um, a little bit of eyeshadow. And I love this palette so much. It's the Born This Way Sunset Strips palette. I want to be able to choose a warm eyeshadow if I want to. But other than that, I do like a little bit more of a neutral undertone. And this palette is just amazing. I've used this shade, this one, and a tiny bit of this one. And I also went in with this shade on top of my eyeliner. The eyeliner that I've used is so stupid that I actually didn't film this eyeliner because this was part of another hack, but I can still explain it so it's not a big deal. You guys need to be a little bit more patient with me because I'm back on YouTube after, you know, a long time. So, um, we'll get there. The eyeliner that I've used is the NYX That's The Point eyeliner and this is a thicker eyeliner and I actually didn't want to use it because I thought, hmm, I'm looking for something that is like super thin, but it actually did a very good job. It's super like... Let me show it to you. Like you can, you can work pretty precise with this. And then the other way around, you can work thicker. Like it's, it's pretty good. It's not super black. So that's why I went in with the, with the eyeshadow. So another hack that I saw, and I think this makes so much sense. And I think it will help a lot of you. So sometimes when you're struggling with your eyeliner, like story of my life, but sometimes when you're struggling with your eyeliner, um, I used to experiment with my eyeliner as in, 
uh, should I elong should I do like a like a lower elongated eye or should I go up for like a lifted effect it's true that it also depends on your eye what eyeliner shape is going to look nice on you but this guy and I will put his handle in the description box he has a genius guideline so he actually says that you need to follow the line of the bottom of your brow so let's say this is the line that I need to follow like that then I need to you know it's pretty straight slightly up um, and that is what's going to look the best on me I don't know if that's necessarily like 100% true like I can still experiment with different types of eyeliners but I do think that it will look more balanced on your eyes so anyways uh, it's uh, elongated slightly up and that is what works perfectly fine with me and I think it will look a little weird honestly when I would do a very high wing with my eyes it's, it's a struggle but let's say I don't have a hanging crease or whatever um, you know what I mean like I don't think it will look balanced it will look a little out of place I'd say uh, you still do your thing if that is your thing though but if you are looking for a very simple guideline just follow the shape of your brow the bottom line and then just do your eyeliner like that and I love that actually since we're talking about brows let's do this brow gel like which also went viral on TikTok how much times did I say TikTok in this video this is the caramel uh, from ABH and I have to say I was early okay because this is this has been my fave since it came out and I thought hey this is the only brow gel that makes my brows look a little bit more golden more lighter um, so if I you see that softens the brow so the eyes pop like I love it in yesterday's video that which had no audio I tried the using your brow pencil as a lip liner and then blush on the lips and then a gloss on top and that didn't look good on me at all. It looked like I had a mustache. I already have a mustache, but I don't want to. Like it looked, it literally looked like I had a gray ashy mustache. Like the brow pencil was too cold, too gray. Um, no, no, I really didn't like that look. So I'm not going to do that today. And I'm going to save the best hack for later. But I will show you what I bought because of TikTok on the lips. And I love it so much um, since this video already has that vibe to it. So let's get in with lip liner. What I really love about TikTok is that it's like, um, I think on YouTube, a lot of beauty gurus, we kind of like, and including myself, we were using, we started off using a lot of drugstore products, finding a lot of dupes. Um, and then we started to shift to like a lot of high-end products and I, I don't regret that because I love high-end products. With TikTok, we're going old school again, like we're mixing things up, then it's Elf, then it's Colourpop, then it's Chanel, then it's Dior, so I love that. It's like really genuinely about makeup again and it's really helpful and I think along the way we kind of like forgot about our passion for makeup and finding these dupes and helping people and I love that so much again so it kind of like sparked a little something within me to film again get into makeup again um and i i really love it i never really buy chanel lipsticks because i i just don't think like i think there are better lipsticks on the market but i saw this color and i was like oh wait a minute that's a classic one do you guys remember the chanel um coco flash in the shade boy and it's so natural but there is something again about the undertone that I'm in love with. So I'm going to use this lip liner from Urban Decay. This is Nighthawk, I believe. Yeah, it's Nighthawk. So I'm going to blend this because it's a pretty dark shade. Okay, I'm just grabbing a flat, fluffy brush and just going to blend this a little. Now I'm going in with the lipstick. Look at how beautiful and simple this lipstick is. Like some people would say like, this is just like, this looks like a gloss, you know, but no, like in real life, it has this mauve I know it sounds gross, like flesh undertone to it, but not, again, like not really warm. Feels amazing on the lips as well. I think my lip liner, my lip liner is still a little too dark. You see, it, it has a tiny bit of a metallic finish to it. It has like a mauve -y. No, I love it. Mm. Mm. TikTok made me do it and I love it. <sighs> now, the best part of this video this is a hack that i saw from makeup by spencer and whew, this hack is a game changer let me explain this is for the lashes i don't have i have pretty like i wouldn't say really long lashes it's they're not short either they're not super long either so um 
I don't use a lot of mascara. Like, I love the no mascara look. Um, and if I use it, I use 100% a tiny bit of lash on the outside of my eyes. The outer parts of my lashes, they tend to go down a little. So Makeup by Spencer came with this idea. And I'm like, how did you find out? So he uses the Benefit Brow Gel. The brow gel that we use for our brows. He applies this on the roots like that just touching his roots okay so we've applied the brow gel and then um then he used a curler but he heated his curler and i'm like i actually i think i should heat it with a blow dryer because that makes more sense or with a lighter but i don't think if I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a responsible thing to do. I don't have a blow dryer with me. If you have a blow dryer at home, just blow dry it. Um, I'm going to use a lighter since I don't have anything else with me. So don't try this at home and we'll see how it works. Oh my God, so we should, I don't see it coming. Should we just, it's plastic, so that's not really healthy. I'm not going to go too nearby since that's plastic. Oh my God, oh, it works, it works. Let me just, okay, so I'm just heating it like this. Okay, yeah, it's a little warm. That's perfect, it's a little warm. So now we're going in, and we're going to curl the lashes. Okay, okay, now I'm using the Dare Real Magnet Mascara from Benefit, and see what happens with my lashes. Excuse me, like that, for me, that is super long. And not only long, but like really, it opens up my eyes and usually they're just really not this lifted. And this is one coat of mascara. I don't like to do a lot of coats. Excuse me, but this eye looks so open and my lashes look so long, like I don't even feel the need to apply like falsies. Look at that. Oh my lord. Like I, I did this yesterday and I was in complete shock because I didn't know that a, something simple like a brow gel and a heated curler would like help. I really love it. Going to do the same on the other side. I can just feel the lift. You do need a tight line because it lifts your eyelashes so much. You can like see the upper eyelash area is very visible. So going in with again this is just one layer as I said I don't like to do many layers because I still want this to look somewhat natural but I love it so much it it feels lifted as well like my eyes feel like like I can like they're opening up it's such a good hack and I think it's the best one I've seen on TikTok did I say makeup by Spencer or did I say painted by Spencer it's painted right yeah painted by Spencer he's a genius he's such a good makeup artist don't like how dark my lip liner looks so let's fade that more I think I should have used another oh here's my favorite it's the Kiko 01 festival glow I think I'm going on top of that I really love it. I don't think, do we need to do mascara on my bottom lashes? Hmm. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. And I also received this ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Cream in the shade BB Spice. BB Spice. And I'm a little curious to try this out because I think the color is going to look... Should we do this in the center? Mmm. Love it. I actually like the Chanel better. Okay, I'm going to redo my lips because I don't like how they look. Let's do it again. I also think I want to add a little bit more blush. I'm going to use this Tom Ford blush, Super Cheek Dio, and I'm going to use this shade right here. Kind of similar to this lipstick. To finish off, obviously we need more setting spray. So these are the hacks from TikTok that I'm definitely going to be incorporating into my makeup routine. Love the one layer makeup look. If you are very, um, also like if you have mature skin or you don't like to have too much makeup, you don't like the feeling of makeup and you want your skin to look absolutely perfect, then the one layer makeup is beautiful. I love the eyeliner guideline tip as well because it's such a simple tip, but it's all about the details. 
that I really love. And for some reason today, it took me less longer to do my eyeliner and normally I would struggle a bit more. Um, the lash lift thing is absolutely amazing. You need to try it at home, especially if your um, lashes are pretty straight. The setting spray, like the amount of setting spray, I thought it didn't really make a lot of sense to use that much spray but I actually loved it. And the things that I bought from TikTok that you've seen in this video, like the one size powder, the Chanel Boy lipstick, the e.l.f. putty bronzer and blushes, also 10 out of 10. And I think um, that's about it. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you're going to try some of these hacks or if you've already tried it. Maybe I'm late to the game, but uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Follow me on TikTok, which is Dino Saba. Instagram is also Dylan Saba, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!